Hello everybody, game number nine. More fun. Down TV at Necromantic. Not down that much TV at Necromantic. It's got lots of uh, lots of journey women. Spud Patch, that's a good name, isn't it? He's got a fleshy called Spud. Zero one one. He's overdogged, which gives me a wizard. It's nice of him. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? A babe. I've just realised that last opponent I had the chat muted from the guy who was nice the other day. <laughs> I can't be dealed with people. He was probably just being nice, it just wound me up a bit. Clone is on the LOS. Three block players. Yeah, nice try, guy. Yeah, he was probably just literally being nice, right? He probably was. But it sure sound. It sure felt condescending. God, I'm glad I've got a fucking fan factor of like six or whatever. I got knocked over on a six and he got knocked over on a four plus. Three out of eleven, five out of eleven. <laughs> God! Oh no, 4 out of 11. Okay, 4 out of 11. So 4 out of 11 isn't that bad, right? Because I guess you'd expect 5 or 6. So 4 isn't too crazy. 5 6s out of 11 is insane, though, obviously. Put some pressure on. Maybe, eh? Well, I can always just retreat next turn anyway if this, uh, if this doesn't. If nothing happens, if this doesn't come to anything. doubt as to why I love Blood Bowl so much. There you go. There's a great example. <laughs> it's just constant! <laughs> Oh, 
Exactly, Red Hair. I do love, I do love adversity. And that's the problem, isn't it? You know, if you're born in England and you don't really have any real problems and, you know, you're just a little bit bored. Can't be bothered to do anything good. Why not impose some adversity by getting shot on that little children's game? I just wish I could work and get a job, honestly. <laughs> it's just not possible. No, it's true. I wish I could put any effort into anything, to be honest. But at this point of 42, I'm not sure if it's in me at all. Ever. It'd be good when you went maximum effort. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. I have put effort in sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> Only in one situation have I put in effort ever. <laughs> and even then I don't really like to. I'd much rather they put in the effort. 
I'm terrible. I'm just absolutely terrible. A terrible human being. Finally got a knockdown. Woo! Hello, Lennon. Yeah, true. Jobs are pretty shit, like just a mundane, crappy job. But it depends, doesn't it? Like, if the pay's good, then you can be a productive member of society, can't you? Get married, have a kid. Neither have really appealed to me ever, but there you go. It's probably what you should do, isn't it? It's what every other living animal does, isn't it? Is reproduce. It's the only reason it exists. We're the only ones smart enough to not do it. <laughs> it's like kind of free will, aren't we? Really? You say that, Corpax, but that's only if the job is a dolphin midwife. No, poor Python. Hilarious joke I made. Thanks, Kalon. At least somebody did. Fantastic chocolate. I said something, I'll have to look at this in a minute.
Four boot, I don't know. I don't see how a send off for no armor break would help here, Agrius. I think anything's likely now because they can just ride Moog to the final. <laughs> like, literally, any, any team can ride Moog to the final now. <laughs> right. Yeah, Nurgle. Nurgle can literally ride Moog to the final. They absolutely can. Yeah. Yep, they totally can, Alyssius. They totally can. They totally can. They still have four Pestigors. They still have Warriors. Okay, the Warriors aren't as good. Block Guard, Claw Mighty. It's totally fine. You know, well, you shouldn't make two dice blocks with Mog, should you? If you can possibly help it, you should be three dice in. Could well be, Connie. I mean, it's hard to make a team that doesn't get shit on by Mog. Like, you know, if you're making, like, a monster orc team or a monster dwarf team, you've got a good chance of getting shit on by Morg. So then, the way you avoid that is by an elf team, and then an elf team doesn't get shit on by Morg. But then if you make a monster elf team, then you've still got to go through many rounds of Morg, and then you don't get inducements versus the monster dwarf and orc teams. So, <laughs> now do more damage job, but much worse. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing that really matters, isn't it, Morrowind? Oh, yeah, Bomber, whether it's Cindy Pie Whistle or uh, another one. Bomber Dribble Snot, isn't it? But there's also Cindy Pie Whistle. That is a big con, yeah. You wouldn't catch me doing that, more. Right? <sighs> no halflings are in it. Oh yeah, Amazons will never win in Blood Bowl 3 because they'll never fucking be in. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to take four years to get all the teams in. Ogres can't have rusted bombers. Snotlings can, right? Snotlings can have two rusted and uh, triple snot. Snot Snotlings can't have Cindy as well. Ogres can have Cindy. 
Ogres can have Cindy and Dribble Snot, but Snots can't have Cindy. No, wrong way around. Chicken. Yeah. Yeah, Snots can have Cindy. Yeah, yeah. So Ogres can have Dribble Snot and Cindy, and Snots can have two Bombers and Dribble Snot. Yeah, probably armor. Probably. Only three mighty blow bombs a turn. Diced again. Yeah, it's not pretty sick. Isn't it? Also, most important thing is. Oh, is that a change, is it? You could have in as many as you wanted in uh, the old rules. Um, also... Um, I was going to say something. Yeah. Just uh just kill the uh just kill the just kill the wolves easy. Reddit lizard man strats, isn't it? Just blitz the wolves. Weirdly inaccurate. Wildly inaccurate. Wildly chicken. Hello, Papa Piccio. Mm. Not a terrible thing. I only learned the other day that Zones used to have a star player, Unicorn. Yeah, Lucky Luke, wasn't it? It was called. Will Acorn be in with ball three? Maybe. It certainly should be. He certainly should be, but whether he will or not. Thank you. 
Oh, I had a wizard. Probably should have visited this time. Now it's too late to put up a fight. Thought I was wrong, but try as I might, can't break away. Bit of steps lyrics for you there. Just one deep power. <laughs> Why not? Stupid fucking game. I mean, Acorn has given us one of the greatest Blood Bowl clips of all time, hasn't he? So he's got that going for him. You haven't seen it? Elliot. Well, somebody, somebody should have it. In comes the squirrel. Someone will have it. I mean, to be fair, Alma, I have diced. I, <laughs> I, I have diced somebody, everybody, every time. Who, who was it? Who was it? I've diced every time. There's somebody that I've literally just diced every single time. <laughs> Definitely not space. Poopock. Poopock. Uh, no, I haven't diced him every time, just six out of seven times. But just like brutal comedy mega dicings. Brutal comedy mega dicings nearly every time. Nearly every time. I think I diced him a couple of times in the cup as well. Uh, he has no hands, isn't as good as In Comes the Squirrel, in my opinion. But, um. But there you go, there's one of the clips. And then, uh. Three, six, nine. He's still got ten. I've got eight. You do have the wizard, though. Maybe I should try and duck her. I don't know.
Drakas have usually gone pretty horrendous for me. Do you reckon Moradam? I don't know, we had the SFL one, didn't we? That was that was unusual, but um The only one diced in that was my poor skink. Just quick scores guaranteed to work, yeah. Thanks, Troy. Try with the knowledge. You know, all all of the all of the DACA detractors would definitely have a great point if two turn scores were guaranteed to work. No doubt. No doubt they would have great points if that was how it worked. I'm just not even going to move after that blitz, I've just realised. Oh no, I can move here. That's, that's a bit better, isn't it? Protect the guards a little bit. I'll call the guards! On the one hand, I can't really afford the reroll, but on the other hand, I just have to have the ball in the blood jar. I just have to. Quick score on turn 16 is usually what happens. Yeah, when I try a quick score, it ends up being an 8 turn stall by mistake. Yes, pair of it tends to also fail earlier and it's more punishing. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Cole Knight, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking Dimmy with a make it bigger. That was a great... This was the best thing to come out of Super League. Elliot, Elliot and Dimmy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think it came out of the... Uh, I think it came out of the... Ranked where they, like, they pick their opponents. There was like there was a few clips of the of that one. There was a few, I don't know how in comes the squirrel, it's not even on his top. There we go, here it is. It is on his top. It is on his top clips. <laughs> there you go. In comes the squirrel. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> He'd been waiting to bring it on. <laughs> He'd been he, he induced it as, as his ball carrier. <laughs> he was waiting to bring it on. That was the best part. <laughs> oh, God, it was so good. I've got no choice but to rely on uh, one in nine dodges now because I've got no players. Classic. And alone plays. Great. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. It was so good to know that one. <laughs> man. 
Blood Bowl. I'd like to do a Blood Bowl Super League. I don't mind like playing, playing, you know, fair games versus good coaches. They tend to be all right. Less annoying when the dice fuck you because they could have fucked you anyway. Like, you know, you could have lost anyway. And then if the dice are good for you and you win, then, well, that's good because it gets you a win that you might not have otherwise got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think finding a frenzy trap up four players was possible, but we found it. Classic necro play. <laughs> Classic necro play there. What's the story? They were just making a, you know, we were doing a league, we were doing the league. Um, and they were doing the draw for it and they had problems and it was funny. Absolute, the absolute professionalism. This clip, it sounds funny. Oh, it's a shit clip though. <laughs> no one get to see what's happened at all. It just starts. Did resolve itself in the end, something was done. He just cast himself. <laughs> oh, fantastic Amazon play. There you go. We had the perfect... We had the perfect... Uh... <laughs> we had the perfect uh, Necro play followed by the perfect Zon play. Of just randomly letting your opponent kill themselves.
wird. Dice the fuck out of him. <laughs> Get off my fucking bitch, prick. <laughs> Absolute comedy mega. Yeah, just give up 2D on the ball and Kazim. Fucking fantastic, isn't it? Trap blitz. Top top dio top dio defense there. Just let your opponent 2D the ball and Kaz themselves. <laughs> Very good, Kalon. <laughs> Comedy Mega Dyson. Yep. Guaranteed, wasn't it? It was li literally guaranteed. It was like that's when that you know, if it's like a close game and you've got four or five assists on a war dancer, you double one, you know, sent off nothing. If you're crushing somebody and every regen's failing and you've definitely hundred percent won, of course the Kaz is a you know the foul is a Kaz no regen. Like literally, of course, it, it's just it's just guaranteed. It's so weird, like the way the way the game works like that. You really just feel that like that's how it goes, right? Some some games are those games where you just everything fails and stuff. There's a great clip where I uh, where I bought my own hobgoblin and roll a one. <laughs> it's the only bad dice I rolled in the entire game. It is funny, isn't it? I mean, that is the common sense answer indeed, Fecky. What with humans being bad at recognising things. Terrible doing the blitz first, wasn't it? Terrible turnover. Of 
got a penis cage around the white. Lovely. Fantastic. Diced. Not even the cows, no. Probably just make more oh, cat. Probably just make more fouls in this situation, right? I guess that's the thing. In this like situation, we're absolutely fucking somebody. It's more where you get the big fouls in anyway, or certainly not. So because like you know, if you get a close game and you do four people kicking in a war dancer, maybe that happens one in a hundred games. So chances are it it doesn't do a lot. Whereas when you dice somebody, you inevitably get the opportunity to make big fouls. And then, if you take the opportunity, there's a good chance you bang them out. So I guess that's what it is. Should have bought the white, you're correct. Correct. Save it for a ride. Save it for a ride. There you go, I should have stopped fouling. Because it didn't mean anything. At least fouling the wolf, or the wolf could have come back, right? This guy could have come and done something. That was a pointless shit foul. I'll, I'll save the wizard for a ride. That's the correct play, isn't it? That is genuinely the correct play, save it for a... Save it for a riot. Played all right. Apart from forgetting the wizard. <laughs> Apart from forgetting I had a wizard on defense. Apart from that, and then having to rely on a 1D, well, power both down. I could have obviously just fireballed instantly. But it <clears throat> see ya.
<laughs> Hello, Pedro, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> oh, I scummed that wizard as well, and I was meant to be saving up for a blitzer. <laughs> I didn't even fucking use it. Forgot I'd fucking scummed it, so I didn't even. Maybe it affected how he played. Fuck me. What a disaster. <laughs> Detestable attitude. It's not like I kept falling in for no reason. For like four turns. That's a good point, fine, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, Max Buddy, lovely. Oh, I could buy a Lino. One SPP. Rick probably would. Gotta get the blitzer, though, eh? Roll guard? I could have got I could have got the one SPP line or I know what they get the second one. Tackle fend DP, I mean you don't DP on a blocker, do you? Kick tackle. Retire. I don't know, anyway. Thanks for watching. Blah blah, stay fantastic.